Are you from California? Are you from Washington State? Are you from Illinois or New York? And you're looking around your community right now and you're saying, you know what? I don't want to live here anymore. I got to get out of here. I got to find a place. I want to find me a nice, good red state where I can take my business, I can take my family and go live a pretty good life. Well, if that's the case, then this video is for you. Welcome, everybody. My name is Jason Wayne. I'm a realtor with Keller Williams. I live here in San Jose, California. And uh, look, if you're moving, looking to move uh, to anywhere across this country, uh, definitely let me know uh, through Red State Relocate, through this channel. I have partnered uh, with uh, with agents all across this country that share your values and they're eager and they're happy to, to try to help you uh, sell your home and, and move uh, to Red State America where you can live a, a good a good life and your kids can go to a good school. And in this video, we're going to talk about Ohio. Let's talk about moving to Ohio. Look, I, I did a video some months back. It's on this channel. Uh, it was called the five most overlooked red states. And I talked about Wyoming, Arkansas, uh, Georgia, South Dakota, and I think it was Oklahoma. Um, uh, again, so many people, especially if Californians are moving to a lot of the same places. They're moving to, to Texas, to Florida, to Idaho, and they're filling up, you know, and it's becoming really difficult to find a home. Uh, so people are starting to look at other options. They're starting to say, hey, where else can I go where I can live a similar quality of life? I can have, I can buy a home. My kids can go to a good school. My business can not be regulated and taxed to death. I can actually maybe make a few bucks and maybe a few of those bucks can actually stay in my pocket and not uh, be taxed at some astronomical level. And so a lot of people like yourself, I'm guessing that's why you're watching this channel. You're saying, hey, I got to get out. I got to go somewhere. Maybe you're looking specifically at Ohio. Maybe you're just saying, I don't care where. I'm just doing my research. Hey, nothing nothing wrong with that. But uh, Ohio is a, is a great state. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, if you're looking for a, for a good, let me, let me rephrase. If you like politics, and I'm going to say this, if you're watching this channel, uh, I'm going to guess you do, all right? And uh, uh, if you like politics, I'm going to tell you right now, Ohio is like, it's like ground zero, right? We know every presidential election, man, Ohio is like, because it's a swing state, okay? And so all the politicians go there and they all want to get a piece of that Ohio action. So, uh, but, but before I get into all that, like I said, I just want to talk about high level Ohio. I'm not going to get into the details of the cities of Cleveland and Columbus, Cincinnati, Dayton. I'm not going to, it's not going to be a deep dive into those things. If you want to dig deeper into those areas, if you want to start looking at homes in those areas and you're looking for a realtor, let me know. Okay. I'm going to connect you up with a realtor in those markets. That's going to take care of you. Uh, but what I'm going to do in this video is it's just going to be a high level. I'm, we're coming at this from the perspective of a Californian. Okay, in California, we're used to certain things, okay? We're used to a certain way of life. And I'm not talking politically. I'm just talking about we're used to the economy. We're used to this weather, right? We're used to access to this great food and this great wine. There's, a, there's definitely a reason 40 million people live in California and still live in California, even though a lot of them are leaving. And those are a lot of the reasons why. But there's a lot of reasons why people are leaving. And that's probably why you're watching this video because you're saying, hey, man, I don't like what my kids are being taught. I don't like all these expenses on my business. I'm trying to run a pest control business and I got to fill out 20 different forms and let three different government organizations, you know, know what I'm doing, you know, just so he can kill a few bucks. Right. So uh, if that's the case, like I say, let's let's get you moved. Let's get you moved to Ohio. Hey, I'd love to help you. And look, if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, I personally would love to help you sell your home and move to Ohio to move anywhere. Uh, across this great, beautiful, uh, wonderful country of ours. Okay, but uh, but real quick, look. Let's let's just get into it. Okay, let's talk about Ohio. Let's talk about some things that that may be pros for you. Let's talk about some things uh, that may be cons. Okay, and and the first thing I noted here, my first kind of thing that could be a pro um, is again, like I mentioned before, that Ohio is a swing state, and so. If you're into politics, man, and you like to just be out there and bumping elbows with all these people that are, you know, some are Republican, some are Democrat. It's uh, the, I, I think I looked at the stats. It's, it, it showed there's more registered Democrats in Ohio uh, than there are in or than there are Republicans. Uh, but there's a lot of unaffiliated. Right. So a lot of unaffiliated. But if you look at the map, if you look at the map of Ohio, 
it's pretty red. Um, you do have uh, uh, gov your governor is Mike DeWine, okay? And he's a Republican. So you know at the executive level, right, at the, at the highest level, you have Republican leadership. And if you're coming from California, Washington, right, you're coming from some of these blue states, man, you may not have seen a Republican uh, governor in a long time. And so um, so that's probably going to be an appeal to you. You know at the executive level, your money's going to be managed well, your state's going to be managed well. Uh, at, the, at the Senate level, you do have Sherrod Brown and Rob Portman. So you do have Sherrod Brown, a Democrat, and Rob Portman, a Republican. And I'm going to say this, me personally, maybe it's because I'm just from California. I'm a conservative guy who grew up in a very liberal Bay Area. Um, I like a little bit of balance. You know, I think it's a good thing if, if you can have a Democrat and a Republican. You're going to force both sides to just work together, all right, and, and come up with solutions um, that are going to benefit the people of the state. And, and, I, and the analogy that I that I like to use is that of, and I heard it one time, and it's, I've never been able to get it out of my head, um, is that of the gas pedal and the brake. You know, and the, the liberal progressive is the gas pedal. And the conservative, well, conservatives like to conserve. And to conserve means we're the brake. But in order to really move forward as a, as a country, as a nation, it's good to have a little bit of both. We, we want to be progressive. We want to kind of be on the leading edge. And, 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 you know, that helps us isolate things that are maybe problems in our society that we need to fix. But by hitting the brake as well, we make sure that when we fix those problems, we don't just, you know, burn the house down just because, uh, you know, we left the stove on or there's right because the, the electrical outlet doesn't work. So we burn the house down kind of analogy. We're not doing that. We want to say, yeah, we want to progress, but we want to do it carefully. And we want to make sure that our constitutional rights are not violated in the process of doing that. And so I really think, man, I, I tell you, I got a lot of respect for Ohio as a state for that reason. You've got you've got the gas pedal, you've got the brake, right? You've got that even, but you have a Republican uh, you know, uh, Mike DeWine driving the car, right? And, and steering the direction of your state, but still doing so in a good balanced manner. And I tell you, if you like politics like I do, man, Ohio is like ground zero for all that. Every election season, it's on. Every politician is coming to your state. They come to your county fairs. They they come eat the corn dogs, you know, and, and try to be like regular everyday Americans. All right. And, uh, I don't know. I just think that's cool, man. I think uh, I personally, I could, I could probably dig Ohio. Um, I could live there. Um, now, uh, something else to consider, not only, like I said, not only swing state, not only the politicians, uh, if you're coming from California, uh, let's talk about gun laws, right? Let's talk about our, our personal safety. A lot of people are leaving California because they don't like uh, the restrictive gun laws um, in California and so moving to a place like Ohio, if, you, if, pu if personal safety um, and being able to defend yourself and defend your family uh, is something that's important to you, um, then, uh, then give Ohio a look. Ohio uh, previously had a concealed carry license requirement. I looked it up. It was actually just last month. It was June of 2022 uh, where they actually passed, like a whole lot of other states are starting to do, uh, pass uh, constitutional carry, meaning that Hey, if you're a citizen in good standing in this state, hey, you have a right to protect yourself. It is your constitutional right, and you don't need uh, the government or the state government's permission to do that. And so a lot of states are, do, are going the, the constitutional carry route. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So sorry, I had to edit there because I had a little brain freeze, was trying to think of the next thought. Uh, but open carry is also legal. Um, open carry is actually legal in a lot of states. Even in California, I think there's a, actually an open carry law. It's just, I think, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but most people just don't open carry in California because it's just not worth the hassle and the headache and, uh, you know, all the people, purple haired people get in your face you know, about it. So uh, a lot of people don't carry here. Uh, but, uh, but again, concealed carry, uh, you don't need a permit for it anymore. It looks like, um, again, if I'm wrong, correct me, uh, open carry is legal. If, if that's your thing. But either way, whatever it is, if, if you like firearms, if you like, uh, you know, personal safety, something important to you, um, you'll give Ohio a look. Um, but anyways, I know I've rambled on on this one subject for probably too long. Um, but if you're moving to Ohio, this is something, like I said, now they, they don't require uh, the, the permit, um, but um, it is a, a constitutional carry state. So, um, so if that's your thing, hey, you're going to love Ohio. Uh, 
Now, some of the other things I was going to say, uh, maybe that are uh, maybe not so fun, not so good. Um, you know, like a lot of states, uh, and red states have this uh, stigma, I'll say as well. Uh, their public school systems there are not so great. Um, and that's, like I said, it's not just an Ohio thing. And as I'll say, let me, let me even rephrase, it's not just a red state thing. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of a problem in a lot of different places. So uh, public schools, just again, being, by being run by the government, um, can tend to maybe lack um, in, in what they offer. Uh, so if you're coming from a state like California, you're selling your house somewhere where, uh, you know, you can make a few bucks, um, maybe earmark a little bit of that for your kids and put them in a private school. Or now that you're able to afford a home that's much more affordable in a place like Ohio, where you've got a, like a 200000 ballpark, you know, home price, you know, put a little money away, put your kid in a public school, or maybe you only need one income now. Maybe both parents don't have to work. Maybe one of your parents can now, or one of the parents can now homeschool your kid. And, and that could be a really good option for you. So you don't have to worry so much about the public schools, okay? Um, another thing to consider that Ohio gets uh, a bad rap for, I'll say, uh, is crime, okay? So Cleveland gets a bad rap for, for crime. Uh, Dayton, uh, Cincinnati, any major city, let's face it, is going to have crime. If you're from California, <laughs> right? You're probably laughing because you're going, yeah, you don't know nothing about crime. We just emptied our prisons into the local communities. Uh, I think uh, I think Californians know a thing or two about crime. But here, this is why it's important for you to contact me so I can connect you up with an agent in the in the city or the town that you're moving to in Ohio because they're going to make sure that you end up in a, in a community, in, a, in an area uh, that's going to serve you well and that's going to be good uh, for what it is that you want, whether it's good schools or low crime, or you know, maybe you just want to go buy a nice house somewhere on a lake and go kick your feet up and, and enjoy life. So uh, we're going to find you a realtor that's that's going to help you do that. But but look, one thing we know about the criminal element is they tend to mostly uh, feed upon themselves. I'll say in a terrible way to put it, but I mean that's really what it is. A lot of crime is just a lot of retribution through gangs and gang violence, and I mean there's other crimes than that, but. Um, and then look, and, and Ohio has a pretty bad drug problem, uh, as do a lot of states. But you know, with the drug problems comes a lot of theft and and things like that. So uh, again, we're going to make sure you get into a good area. Just because some cities have quote high crime statistics doesn't mean that there aren't amazingly wonderful places to live in those cities. But man, there's some really nice countryside in Ohio too. If you're looking to go buy yourself a you know a few acres and a nice little farmhouse, so you can you know, let the dogs run around. That'd be pretty nice. I tell you, if you're like me, you're born and raised in California, you grew up in a subdivision, some track homes, and you had a teeny tiny little backyard and you always felt bad for your dog because your dog didn't have a backyard. Well, hey, look, you know what? Now's your opportunity to let your dog, uh, you know, go have a few acres to go run around. That's that, That'd be pretty awesome. Oh, a quick, and so yeah, quick edit here. I, uh, I actually forgot to probably mention uh, the biggest uh, change uh, for a Californian uh, moving to a, a state like Ohio. Uh, obviously, the elephant in the room is going to be the weather. Yeah, we know. I mean, the, the weather in California is legendary. It is why so many people live here. You know, we know when we wake up in the morning in California and the weatherman says it's going to be sunny and nice, you're pretty sure it's probably going to be sunny and nice the whole day. Uh, it's uh, the beauty of California weather is that, yeah, that it's very consistent we don't have crazy thunderstorms. We don't have these wild snowstorms. I'll say at least in the mountains they do. You know, when you get up, you know, in the Tahoe and all along our mountain ranges, they they get snow up there. But I'm just talking about where most of our cities are, right? We're talking about L.A., the San Francisco Bay Area, the Central Valley. Although Central Valley gets hot, okay. Um, talk about Sacramento. It gets hot in Sacramento too. It's technically kind of in the valley. And then even up to Redding, you know, Redding in the northern northernest part of California can get really hot in the summer and really rainy in the winter. So because California is so big, we do have a lot of different weather patterns, I'll say, but we don't have weather extremes. And so in the summer, our weather is is just nice, even though maybe in the valleys it can get hot, but we don't get that thunderstorm kind of action. We don't get that those hailstorms, lightning come, you know, ruin your picnic you're trying to have, uh, you know, in, uh, you know, in the middle of the park. Uh, so we, we don't really worry about those things. And um, so, a place like Ohio, if you're thinking about moving to Ohio, anywhere in the Midwest, really, I'm going to say really anywhere outside of California, um, you know, you're going to start looking at, you're going to be dealing with weather. The thing about California 
is we don't deal with weather. It's just kind of part of the day here. It's not something we really think about. But when you live in the Midwest, uh, yeah, you have to deal with the weather. When I lived in Colorado, man, I'll tell you what, man, we could get some booming thunderstorms uh, you know, in the middle of summer. And we could get some monster snowstorms, even though everybody's like, oh, the snow's not that bad in Denver. It can snow in Denver. Don't, don't, uh, don't let anybody tell you differently, okay? Uh, the point is that Ohio, yeah, I, I watched a video a while back and a guy had said that Ohio has two seasons, summer and winter. And, you know, you don't get, you don't get much of the fall or the spring. Um, but, uh, but hey, maybe you can wear the, the crazy weather uh, like a badge of honor because, uh, you know, otherwise, <laughs> you, you know, there, there ain't much to be said about it. But um, just something to think about. If, if weather is really important to you, you got to really reconsider where it is you want to move. You know, maybe there's other places, you know, that might suit you better, maybe somewhere along the Carolinas. Although you're going to deal with different weather there too, but uh, you know you're going to deal with hurricanes and all those things. Uh, but uh, but maybe you get a little bit more access to the coast, and yeah, the summers are going to be muggy. But just something to think about if you're going to be going up to that area, right, to the Ohio area, anywhere in the in those northern states up there, uh, you're going to get some cold ass winters. Okay, you know your summers can be warm; they're going to maybe be muggy, um, and your winters are going to suck. Okay, so. I get you. And so, and then, uh, oh, I was going to say, this really not a bad thing. Maybe it's a good or bad thing. It's, <laughs> we'll let you decide. Uh, hey, sports, uh, Ohio is a sports town, man, or a sports state. Uh, you've got Cleveland, right? You've got the Cleveland Browns. You've got uh, the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, God, what do you got? you got the Cincinnati Bengals. you got Ohio State, man. You've got uh, some some good college football going down over there in Columbus. So uh, you've got pro, you got pro baseball, pro football. You've got college town, uh, you know, Ohio, it's a sports place. And so if you like sports, you could get along pretty good there. Hey, look, I know the Reds, maybe not the best team. The Browns, maybe not the best, although they did make the playoffs, right, uh, last year. So, um, but I tell you, you could live a pretty good life. You could watch the game on Sunday, go have a good time, uh, raise your kids in a, in a good a well-managed state. There's if you're coming from a place like California or New York, man, it's been a long time since you lived in a well-managed state where your taxes are spent properly. You don't have top-to-bottom corrupt, dirty politicians, you know, running your show. Um, and like I said, the cool thing about Ohio with Dewine, with Brown, with Portman, you just got good gas pedal, good brake, good environment, and I think you could live. A pretty good life and so if you're looking to head out that way let me know i'd love to help you either sell your home if you live here in california and i'd love to help you connect with an agent in the market you're looking to move to all across this country not just ohio and in the future videos give a subscription because i'm going to do more videos on more red states we're going to talk about them from the perspective of a californian and uh you know we will help uh we're going to help find you a good home where you can just go live a really good life. Again, my name is Jason, everybody. I'm with Keller Williams. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, give a like, give a subscription, subscribe, all that fancy stuff. My information is in the description. Uh, as always, uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.